Hey everyone, we're here today at C75 here in Dayton. It's very loud here, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But I thought I'd show the place off its grand reopening week after like almost two years being down. A lot of changes here, we'll go over. The only thing that's still the same is this X-Riders here. Like even this mini golf course. Pretty sure it used to be down there on the other side. Back when I worked here. Good time stuff. Go carts. We'll get to important stuff in just a second. Yeah, fun fact, back when we first opened in 2012, I actually worked here for a couple years, uh, a couple weeks. But basically like we couldn't find my place in the company fast enough and it would be like an hour drive to pick them up here without me moving, so it wasn't a good fit at the time. If things change, who knows, maybe I'll come back. Be cool. Here's a little map. I feel like this is all the old stuff, that's the new section right here. Yeah, back when I was here, this was like kind of the end of it. But that was actually closed off. And I believe like right here is the two mini golf courses, right by the bumper car. I think we're over there. Yeah, it's changed. Now I got this whole new section I opened after remodeling. Including the main attraction, our Frank Coaster. Better shots after walk around. It's got a little speed drop tower, just like the one over in, in Columbus. Grab some more games over here. Okay, we'll have more lap right in a second. Yeah, that's another SPF coaster, kind of like the spinners I've shut off this year. But that's got more of an actual layout, like, even it looks the size of this is huge compared to the other ones I've been on. This is kind of a wacky warm kind of layout if you look at it that way. But what I really want to go over is that stack they have here. Big off. It's hard to compare it, though. Like, I'm for me, I'll pop boys, but this double decker style model, the animals that are on it, give me go around to size, get this to a spinny car. I'd be like all the way around to show that one off. Yeah, I am about 90% certain this is Carousel I used to work on back in the uh, Mall of Kentucky, Florence Mall. Cause that was actually removed recently and then lo and behold I see on social media that C75 is getting this cool here so yeah even have a speedy car right there this seems very much like the one I used to work on hey guys slightly tired future editing Jared here I was gonna put some sort of subtitle or annotation somewhere about the response I got back from the carousel but I actually um messaged C75 and just with a big, can't really see with the glare, but a big long text message back from them. Thought I'd read to you guys to see what they said. So it says, Hey Jared, our carousel is used and is manufactured by the same company slash same model as the Florence Mall carousel. However, it is not the exact same carousel. We, we have to look back at the books, but I believe it was the mall that was in Indiana. We've actually had this in stores since before Tornado and just timed it coincidentally. But really happy that you love the join new space. Thanks for checking it out, being such a fan. And of course, the most important part, we are looking into the possibility of adding a smaller size SBS into other scene 75 locations. So hopefully in the future, you'll be able to ride them all over. So yeah, a uh, few things there. First of all, I was, I guess halfway around the carousel. It is the same manufacturer, it is the same model, but like there is a couple different horses, creatures, characters on them, whatever you want to say. So yeah, that's super cool. Turns out it's from an old mall in Indiana, so if you guys do know where that came from, comment down below. And of course, SBFs. They are looking into SBFs at other locations. They did say smaller scale, so I don't know how big Tsunami is. I mean, it's still kind of a small coaster, but definitely was a lot larger than the uh, SBF spinner standard models, but uh, I'll put a couple of pics on the screen right now of their different models 
Uh, there's definitely the SPF Spinner. There's this whatever Tsunami is. They have this weird little kitty circle out and back style thing that has a looping first wheels. We call them, everyone's been calling it the Hamster Wheel Coaster. And a couple of other smaller ones, I guess. But yeah, fingers crossed that we might be getting whatever Tsunami was because that ride is awesome. Or hopefully the hamster wheel, that would be super cool to have a different style at each park and that is a very unique looking ride with the whole looping front wheel in addition to those mini cars. Anyways, take you back to the video. Uh, Happy New Year's if you're watching it right now because it should be going up pretty much around that time. But I will have another New Year's video so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show us a little bit more. Including Tsunami. So I just got off the Tsunami Coaster right back here. Kind of pointing at it. And this thing actually packs a little punch, it's awesome. Like you wouldn't think much of it, because like I said, very much akin to that classic wacky warm layout. But like you actually get a little air time off it going off this big drop back here. So I'll try to show it off in action again once closely going, but yeah, there's a little pop of ejector in there. It's actually really nice. Not gonna lie, for this being a ride that's pretty much an hour drive for me that I can go to whenever I want. I am somewhat satisfied by it. Good model. Every small park get an SPF Tsunami. What? I don't know what it's called. I'll look it up. Comment below. Add in right here what the model is. It's not an SPF spinner. But yeah, that's a really cool model and once again, fingers crossed, get Cincinnati something because now this is here. And the Wapa the Columbus has the standard SPF center. Yeah, I'll go ride that again a little bit. Tsunami, big thumbs up for me. The nice little, gives you a nice little spin. And like I said, there's that nice pop projector in there. It picks up some speed. It's good. All right, let's check back in, do some other stuff. Boop. Right there, some projector. I guess I also need to mention this is like, I guess officially my last coaster of 2020. Last new coaster. Number, I don't, I have to check my count. I think I'm at like 260 or something like that. Somewhere in 260. But yeah, last coaster of 2020. Could not have asked better one. Because this thing, quite a size, really pops. Never mind that's, that's probably just like an hour and a half. So I know I kind of mentioned it before, but the little gold card gold pass thing that I got earlier this year in Columbus is really starting to pay off. Basically, C75 is like kind of a ticket to place to like put however much you want on your card, use that for rides, games, what have you. Like this thing, like every time you come in, you get $10 on it. So automatically it's like $30 that pays for itself for three visits, which of course they're a franchise, you, you all different places. But like, that $10 every visit, that's like a couple of rides, uh, you can do a bunch of games if you want, or like even just now this, you know, I'm close to like seven bucks, so every time I come in, if I just charge it free, it's be like one ride on that and like three other dollars for games or I save it up for whatever. That's so a really good deal. Like just the place to play video games, like actual console video games, where they had like just a room set up as one console screens. Yeah, I remember that was like one of the areas of work, so. Okay, cool. 
glad this is still safe. Like, I have the next rider motion simulator here. It's like point of rise on it. Please protect right behind this halo. Can I give you one window? Oh, that's that real quick. Arena. And of course, giant go kart track. Those are always fun. Okay, that's just cool. They have a little Ferris wheel style thing for their sampler. Slow place about uh, cost a lot, like twenty five dollars. But you get all these samplers, get ten dollar cards, and it comes like a Ferris wheel. Now I'm usually do food stuff when I'm at places like these, but I'm have to see if they have some that in my just time. The last thing I want to go over today is this new mini golf course they added with the expansion. That's because, uh, well, they have the mode golf one, the little mini one that everyone else has. They actually have a really nice, really well themed one. It kind of reminds me of the, of that, that mountain back with the Kilo and Kentucky. So yeah, it's really cool they have this. It's about a $10 course, looks like, compared to the $5 for the blue golf one. But really good job, really nice. I did this in addition to like all new rides like Drop Tower, Coastal, and Slow Down the Water, Drop Kentucky, and of course, Tsunami Roller Goods, which is freaking awesome. They're going to ride it. Really helped me get my Cincinnati. So that was the original scene 75 down here in, up here in Dayton. Like I said, there's one in Columbus that I did a video for earlier. Uh, if you guys want to see that, check wherever the link is. And there's also one in Cincinnati where I am, but that place is, I won't say bad, but considering the other places have a lot of actual ride attraction, and mine's just the generic arcade with like mini golf and stuff, that's the same three I've been to, number one, Columbus number two, Cincinnati is like all the way at the bottom, but I can go there whenever, so won't lie, but I'll just go in and play a bunch of games. I'm not gonna lie, I walked up to the prizes and saw a couple of video games I almost just got off the spot because I had no tickets for them. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you guys like content like this, be sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hopefully, we'll have some more actual music parks next year. Um, you know, I might check out the RC 75s. So there's some that are outside of the Cincinnati area, but this, uh, that would be like a day trip to get to, so. Yeah, no. Anyways, me sign off. I'm about to get into the car. Uh, catch you guys in the next coast video next year, I guess, or many of the other videos I do here on the channel. Till next time, always embrace the infinite. Bye bye.